Hello, hello, Linda here from Bar Lattie's Body Blitz, back with another 10 minute tone. Standing abs today, here's a little mini curled up, all cute for you. I'm using a band with a loop that I've created at the bottom because that's going to intensify all of the balance challenge standing abs we're going to be doing today. So let's get straight into it. I want you to put your leg slightly behind the other one. We're going to start off at, at our chest. We're going to bring the knee in and bring the arm up at the same time and then tap the toe back. So you're just starting really simple. I want you to get your balance by putting your weight towards the heel and the inside of your other leg there, your supporting leg. Doesn't really matter what you do with this hand. Maybe you want to put it on your waist and I'm already starting to wobble. Looking around the room is never a great idea when you're doing these sort of balance challenge moves. So this is going to be total body in that we are going to get our heart rate up a little bit. You're working your arm by pulling that band, so I hope you're pulling, and you are bringing that knee in, crunching towards your core. Let's go for a few more like this. So at the moment, it feels like you're actually assisting your balance by pulling on that band, and you're actually bringing your leg up with that band. But don't worry, we're going to go the opposite way in a second, and it's going to be harder. Go, so four more. And three, just point, don't put any weight on that toe. Two, and one. Now we're gonna hold our hand by our chest. If you want to, you can choke up here, because why not? And we're going to go back, straighten the leg, and come in. So back, straighten and point, and come in. So now we're bringing the knee in, going out, slightly turning the hip out, and squeezing our glute. So we're going to crunch our uppers to our lowers here, then lengthen and stretch and squeeze the glute there because you know what? Glute is part of the core, right? So why not get a bit of glute action happening? And the supporting leg is already saying, why me? Well, don't worry, you're getting your turn with moving next. So then you're going to be crying for a different reason. For four and three, push and lift. Two, and last one. So now we're going to go sideways. We're going to bring the band behind and grab it, choke up on it if you want some extra work there. And we're going to bring our hand by our ear, soften your supporting leg, and we're just going to come up and down. So up and down, keeping this other hand exactly where it is. And I'm just going to lean slightly towards that lifting leg, not forward or back, directly to the side. So you see this exercise all the time, but now with that band, I'm just making it a little bit more awkward, a little bit harder to balance, because why not, right? We've got to progress, people. It's a 10 minute workout. So if you're not doing something that's a little bit uncomfortable, and perhaps going to make you try and fall over so that your brain can correct and stabilize. If you're not going to do that, then 10 minutes is not going to do much for you. But if you have a lot going on, like we've got a lot going on right now, then perhaps it's worth it just to exercise for 10 minutes, hey? Four more. And three. Can you get your elbow all the way to your thigh? Two. And... One, can you stay up here? Little tiny, crunch, crunch, crunch. Come on, I know it's hard. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We're just gonna do that to the other side. So put that under the other foot, grab it with the other hand. Make sure you're not cheating, choke up on that band. Soft bend in your supporting leg. We're going to go back. No, we're not. We're going to come up and we're going to come down. We're going to come up, pull, and then we're going to tap back. You're pulling that leg up, and then as you tap back, you still have full tension. That's the key, full tension on this band the entire time so that you're activating your core as well as that arm. I'm trying to show you from an angle where you can see what I'm doing. I'm really pointing through my toe, not putting any weight on it, just tapping it down, stretching. I want crunch and stretch. Crunch your uppers to lowers, 
stretch out. Let's go for three more. This arm is already hurting. Two. And one. Now we're going to come up and pull away this time as you bring your leg out. This time you're coming back and slightly out on an angle. So come in, back and slightly out on an angle. Back and slightly out on an angle. So you can just hold it static here by your chest. If you need the other arm, this is my more wobbly side. So I get it, it's hard, I know. So if you need to hold on with one hand or even just put your hand out to the side. Three more. If you really need to tap down like this again, that's fine. Two, really push out, squeeze that glute. One. Okay, put it behind you. Grab it with the opposite hand. Make sure you're choking up the same amount you did on the other side. So we're going to bring the other hand by the ear and then bring it up and down. And it might take a few. That band might be sliding around a little bit. Might take a few to kind of get your rhythm. So I'm bending directly to the side, blowing out all that air. And definitely harder for me on this side, which is fine because it just means I am training my body to learn how to stabilize that wobble. The band actually makes it harder, I realize that, to keep that balance because you've got that extra component of tension where you're not used to it. Go for four and three and two and one. Can you hold it? Can you hold it? Little tiny crunches. Choose a focal point in front of you. Come on. Tummies are in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. But we're going to loosen it up now. So grab your band, bunch it up, bring it to chest height. Nice soft knees. We're going to start twisting and twisting. So arms straight out in front of you. Just start to twist. We're going to start picking up our knees. We don't have long, so one, two, one, two on the third one. Pick it up. You see me do this all the time. Let's go faster and twist more. So it's, it's a really kind of aggressive twist to the back. Keep your hips steady to the front. You're twisting from your waist, not your hips. And, and across and across. Come on, you can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to come behind like a little ballet pose and come up, behind, come up. Now pull down with this elbow, come up, pull down, come up, pull down. Add a curtsy. It's a lunge, too high, too low. Pull with those arms, pull and pull. Come on, squeeze through the waist. Down and up, down and up. Four, three, two. Stay down here, pulse and pull. Now row the elbow behind, pulse and pull. Pulse and pull. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Across, across. Step, curtsy. Step, curtsy, lunge. Step, curtsy, lunge, elbow to hip. Across. Now elbow behind. Elbow behind. Across, low behind. Across, lower behind. Across, get that back knee down. Across and behind. For four, and three. And two, and one, stay here. We're coming up, we're coming down, we're coming up, we're coming down. It's up and down, up and down. Now row the elbow behind, pull and row. Up and cinch, pull and row, cinch that waist. 
Squeeze and down and squeeze and down. Six, five, four, get lower. Three, get higher. Two, one, stay here. Up across, let's jump it. This is a tiny cardio burst. Tiny -o. Tiny cardio burst. A tiny -o. Pull behind, pull behind. If you don't want to jump, just step and step, but I want wide steps. Come on, behind, behind, tap behind, behind, pull down, arm behind your back. Six, five, four, three, two, one, stay here. Turn out position, rotate. Palms facing, pull on the band. Elbows by your waist, rotate. Come on. Didn't expect this cardio factor, did you? Good, because we're nearly done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step behind, arms overhead, palms facing front. Rotate, rotate. Come on, as if you're a helicopter and your rotor's stuck somehow and you keep going back and forth, and forth. Come on, rotate. Now, waist involved, last thing, eight, Seven, six, five, pulse those legs. Three, two, and one. And that's it. So, standing abs, 10 minutes. Cardio sculpt, really, because that got the heart rate up. Started off pretty mild, but after all those twists, are you feeling your waist now? I hope so. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you felt the burn. See you again very soon. Bye for now.